Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Senator from the state of Illinois, the Honorable Richard J. Durbin. Professor Eunice, the Eunice family, members of Congress, and distinguished guests. It was about 20 years ago when I visited a ramshackled hut in Uganda. I met with three mothers who were working in the local market. I asked them through an interpreter how microcredit had changed their lives. One woman said, my knees have gone soft. I didn't understand what she meant, so I asked her to explain. She said that before she received the microcredit loan that gave her a chance to go to the market and make a little money, she used to have to crawl on her knees and beg her husband for money to feed the children. But she didn't have to crawl anymore. Her knees had gone soft. It's been said that almost anyone can make something complicated. It takes a genius to make something simple. My friends, make no mistake, Muhammad Yunus is a genius. His breakthrough theories of microlending shattered the stereotype of the poor. In his world of microbanking, there was a vast collateral that no banker had ever seen. He defied cultural prejudice by giving most of the loans to women in a society where, at the time, women seldom even touched money or worked outside the home. Over the last four decades, microlending has helped tens of millions of people to take the first steps out of grinding poverty. It has turned beggars into business owners. It has fortified families. It has brought dignity and hope, and it has fundamentally changed the way most of the world sees the poor. Not since the miracle of the loaves and fishes has anyone done so much with so little to feed so many. I first met Professor Eunice over 20 years ago. I knew at once that the ideas that emerged from his classroom were not only life-changing, they were world-changing. Now, many of us expected Professor Eunice to get many recognitions, even perhaps the Nobel Prize for Economics. In 2006, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Committee recognized that lasting peace and prosperity can only come when the poor can escape the prison of poverty. This lesson from a Bangladeshi professor should not be lost in the halls of this capital. Muhammad Yunus is one of only seven people ever to receive the Nobel Peace Prize the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and the Congressional Gold Medal. And my friends, he is the first Muslim ever to be awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. This is indeed a happy and historic day. On the back of the medal is a quote chosen by Professor Yunus from his Nobel lecture. In English, it reads, let us put poverty in the museum. Muhammad Yunus, Muhammad Yunus understands that alleviating poverty is not only a gesture of charity, it is an act of justice and freedom. It is the protection of a fundamental human right, the right to dignity and a decent life. I was honored to introduce the Senate bill awarding Professor Yunus the gold medal, and I am deeply honored to call him my friend. Thank you.